All right, here's an update on the grid tie system going in up here in New Hampshire. We ended up making seven brackets and not eight. And the brackets have flown up on the building. Those are attached with 3 8 by 5 inch deep uh, galvanized lag bolts and washers. We just threw up the 30 feet of super strut. As it turns out, there's only nine solar panels here on the job, so it's going to be nine for today or tomorrow, whenever we're finished. And then at a later date, over by the sign over there that says Mark G's on it, we got to make three custom brackets. And he's going to have a total of 12 solar panels in the end, so it'll be 2,250 2, watts right now and then another about another 750 a little heat burned out here it's hot in the sun but it's coming along good they're all in place we just made another hardware run and we're gonna start throwing up solar panels believe it or not so it's finally happening over here with that um, Blue pipe comes out and that's for a oil furnace which gets used very occasionally but we got to rearrange the stack there bring it out a little bit and get it around the panels so hopefully I'll be back in a little while with some more footage of the panels going up we'll be back in a while this is Sunday okay here we go we got three panels up doing this without staging we were supposed to have a bucket truck, but I don't know what happened to that deal. So far we've made all the bracketry and those end brackets holding the end of the panel were made here. And those are 3 8 uh, bolts with three different washers clamping down on the ends of the frames going into the super struts. And I'm going to run them all the way across. So that's the quick update it's moving quick now all right that's it for now all right here's an update uh, it's Monday we actually worked all day Sunday yep you know who that is we got uh, eight panels up we had nine and we had a little incident and I'll show you that in a minute so maybe somebody else can avoid doing that also uh, just we just got back from Home Depot, bought a bunch of uh, conduit pipe, got a whole bunch of parts over there on the table. I got to figure out tomorrow. What did happen is, hopefully the camera will pick that up. We have uh, the trunk cable loosely run. I'm gonna try to walk under here without walking into anything while I'm looking at the camera. We have the uh, inverters bolted to the. Uh, super struts loosely and we still got to put two more bolts in each bracket. Oh, look at the hummingbird. He made an appearance and we're missing one panel right now. And what happened is we had to make I'll try to get a glimpse of it over here. I made those end brackets out of uh, leftover pieces of aluminum that we made the brackets out of to hold the solar panels in. And then we had the bolts going down through the top on the panel. And what happened is this panel here ended up, there were probably about five people involved with this. Two younger guys that have never done it before and I didn't see this happening. But this solar panel has got this, got this groove in it, and that's for a type of clamp. I guess they don't make anymore. That's the only panel like that. And what happens when we tighten the clamps, which the bolt and the big washer was right here, I guess they tightened it, and due to this gap, it bent this aluminum frame, and we ended up with a shattered panel. So that kind of sucks. But no injuries so tomorrow I'm going to install the all the conduit 
we're using number 10 wire. We got a bunch of boxes and brackets and a disconnect switch and that's what'll be going on tomorrow. And I just set my compass up over there and these are heading slightly southwest. I think it was 180 degrees, I forget. But it's a nice setup. So it's uh, Monday night's about I don't know. Time. Yeah, it's about bevy time, about six o'clock. So that's it. Uh, sadly, we ended up with only two thousand watts. But we're gonna get another panel, I think, Wednesday. So that'd be like uh, two thousand two hundred fifty, and that should be quite sufficient for here. So once again, I will update when I get the wiring finished tomorrow. Then hopefully by Wednesday we can call the electrical inspector guy out here and fill out the paperwork we got from the power company who was very easy to work with up here. I'll throw that in. And uh, I gotta run the disconnect switch now and run it up into the into the uh, fuse panel out into the garage. So anyway, that's an update from up here in New Hampshire. I'll be back as uh, the job progresses.